Hello and welcome to another week of Brand Motion Tech Talk. So this week we'll be touching on the wireless charging units we have to offer at Brand Motion. Uh, just two of them. Currently we have three, but one is set to discontinue June 30th. So I'll only be touching on two of the parts today. So let's get started here. All right, a little bit of an agenda for today. Uh, brief introduction. We're going to do the same product category overview as always. Um, we're going to talk about the lineup of the wireless charging units, um, the resources and tools you have available to you, and then we'll wrap things up. So first things first, my name is Adam DeGroat. I'm an account manager here at Brand Motion. I'm a member of the account relationship team along with Zach Seidel, who's technical sales and support manager. Say hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. <laughs> All right, so just a, a brief introduction. As I mentioned, we are a member, uh, or we are both members of the account relationship team. We also have returns, tech support, accounting, product development, the warehouse, wire harness, and connected vehicles all within the business as well. So uh, we're you know just a smaller team, part of a, a larger group. If you want to learn more about the company, uh, feel free to follow the link below or check out brandmotion.com to learn more about the company. So here is the vast category overview. As I mentioned, there's only two parts. Um, first one, part number FDMC-1285 is a GM retrofit application. Um, the model year is available is 2015 to 2018, and this is a single coil solution. The secondary part number is FDMC-1310, uh, which is more of a slot or tray application, can also be used in the armrest, and this is a triple coil. So I'll touch on in a little bit what the differences between a single and triple coil is and how the wireless charging actually works. So first things first, diving into the FDMC 1285, um, I want to start just by touching on how these coils are actually working. So you can see here, this is an exposed coil. You've got a, a big uh, wire bundle, if you will. Essentially, electricity is just pulsing through this coil, this uh, spool of coil and it is emitting a signal that your phone receives as well. So when you set your phone down, your phone will send out a signal. The wireless charging module will also emit a signal. They'll match, and then they'll start charging. So when you're looking at, at this unit here, this is a direct retrofit for GM vehicles through the year 2015 or 18. So a simple question is, do you ever have customers that walk in and say their wireless charging unit isn't working? Chances are it's going to be a GM vehicle from the year 2015 to 18. GM never came out with a solution themselves. They stuck uh, with the aftermarket to help them uh, fix this problem. So here's a solution if you've ever got someone walking in saying, hey, I've got a GM vehicle 15 through 18, and my wireless charging won't work on my iPhone or Android. So touching on a little bit of the features of what the FDMC 1285 has is it's a, it's a direct replacement to the factory module. You're going to be using the GM connector that's in the vehicle already. It has the same screw hole pattern. You're just going to line it up with the screw holes, input our new screws, and then plug in with the connector. And that's pretty much it for the install. Really, the length of the install is going to come from accessing the coil, whether that's um, removing a part of the center tray to get to it, or like myself, I have a vehicle cross where it was more in the, um, the center console area down as an inset. So we had to do a little bit of extra work to pull it out and then access the coil. So really, once you get to the coil, it's gonna take you five or 10 minutes to disassemble and assemble the new part. The length of the install is really gonna come from, you know, how long does it take you to get to that coil? So as I mentioned, it's a direct factory replacement. Um, it's actually a, a Qi wireless signal, which is probably the most popular now and the most well-recognized. It also features an audible alert. So when you set your phone down, you'll hear a beep, and then I'll, hopefully you guys can hear this, but I'll, I'll set my phone down on a charging module I've got right next to me, and you'll hear a beep. So that's gonna signify that the phone is charging. As I mentioned, super quick install, it's all coming down to how long does it take you to get to that coil. So you can see here on the right, it's a little bit small, I'll show it on the next slide, but we've got a full list of compatibility options. Um, you know, two Buick models, eight Cadillac models, 11 Chevrolet models and four GMC models. All of them will fall within 2015 to 18. So the vehicle must have existing wireless charging as this is a retrofit solution and it plugs it right into the GM connector. Very quick, simple, and easy. 
Um, and people typically are, you know, they'll look for any solution and there's not many out there. Um, this is quick, simple, and easy. So here's a little video of the 1285 I want to show you guys. Wireless charging has become a popular convenience feature, with GM being one of the first car companies to add wireless charging to a majority of their vehicles. Unfortunately, for 2015 through 2018 GM vehicle owners with new iPhone 8, 8 Plus, XR, or X, the GM system is incompatible. Luckily, a quick, low-cost fix kit is available from Brandmotion, and it's easy to install since it's designed to use the same mounting and connection as the original GM system. Here's how easy it is to change your 2015 through 2018 GM wireless charging module. Locate your charging pad. It looks like this. If you don't have this pad in your 2015 through 2018 GM vehicle, you likely don't have wireless charging and this product would not apply. Once you locate it, you'll have to remove the panels underneath to get to the module. Unplug the removable connector and remove the four screws holding the module in. Grand Motion's replacement module has the same mounting and connector of the GM system, which makes replacement very easy. Once the system is securely connected, replace the trim panels and the system should be functional. Place your wireless charging equipped phone on the pad, listen for the audible tone signifying the phone is charging, and you're good to go. You can now enjoy the wireless charging pad your GM vehicle was intended to have thanks to Brand Motion. Cool. Well, I, I really can't overstate the, the simplicity of this product. As I mentioned, it's, you know, you're using the same existing screw holes, you're using the same existing connector. All you're doing is plugging into what's there. And typically, when someone buys a vehicle, they're excited about having this wireless charging. And I can speak from experience, it's extremely disappointing when you find out it doesn't charge your phone. So beyond just the GM retrofit model, that's only for when there's, again, existing wireless charging in a GM vehicle through the years of 2015 to 18. So that's a pretty small coverage. But what about if, if someone wants to just add wireless charging to their vehicle, any vehicle? That's what FDMC-1310 is for. So a little bit of a difference on what you'll see here. Instead of just one coil, you'll see three. So really the main benefit of having three coils is the throw distance or the distance that the charge travels from the, co from the coil to your phone is much larger. So on a single coil system, the throw distance is typically about three millimeters. On the triple coil system, that extends up to nine millimeters. So it's got about three times larger throw distance and beyond just the vertical distance that the um, charging signal travels, it has a much wider horizontal distance as well. So pretty simply, you know, if, if there's more charging coils available on the, um, the unit itself, then there's a larger detection area. So one of the biggest complaints with early models and wireless charging was you've got to be dead center in the, um, on that charging coil with your phone to receive a charge. Where with the triple coil like this, you have a much more forgiving detection range. So even if you don't set your phone dead center on the charging coil, it can still catch a charge. So again, just the, uh, to touch on the differences of the 1285 versus the 1310. 1285 is a single coil retrofit solution only for GM vehicles. The 1310 is a universal solution, triple coil for all vehicles. Here's a little bit more information on the 1310. As I mentioned, it does have the triple coil design, a three times larger charging area, uninterrupted power, because the charger will not cycle power on off if the engine is equipped with start stop. So that was an issue with, uh, I know with different brands of charging coils where like myself, like I said, I've got a Buick LaCrosse uh, 2018. So when I come to a stop, I do have a stop start function. This will be uninterrupted by that, uh, that function in your vehicle. It'll still charge your phone, so you don't have to worry. Every time you stop, your phone will stop charging. It has 15 watts of output. Um, that's a pretty important feature because really what it allows um, this coil to be is, is future-proof. Um, a lot of phones are only capable of receiving about 10 watts of, of uh, charging power right now. So given the fact that this can charge up to 15 watts, it uh, really kind of solidifies itself as future-proof for when new phones come out with more charging capability. So 
that's I, I want to touch on another point though just because your phone is only capable of receiving 10 watts and this is capable of outputting 15 watts doesn't mean it's going to overpower your phone like i said talking on the 1285 both your phone and the coil will emit a signal kind of communicate with each other the coil will recognize that your phone is not capable of receiving 15 watts and only emit the strength that it's capable of receiving so for example most new iphones are capable of receiving 10 watts if your phone sends out a signal for 10 watts, the coil will emit a signal for 10 watts. So you don't have to worry about it being the battery being fried with too much power. Uh, last thing is that audible alert. Just one more time so you guys can hear it. I'll set my phone down. Beep. You hear the, the sound. That'll let you know that it's charging. And then just to, to show you guys what we're working with here, this is an example of the, um, the charging coil put on kind of like a countertop display. So if you have a waiting room and someone, you know, sitting there waiting for uh, an oil change, a uh, tire rotation, um, you know, back camera installation, whatever it may be, um, and they'd like to charge their phone, you know, all they have to do is just set the phone down on the mat and it'll start charging. Uh, the last thing is it has a very thin rubber mat. Um, this will just help you um, maintain a uh, compatible throw distance. As I mentioned, the throw distance is about nine millimeters on this. So a thin mat allows you to um, kind of offset that coil length a little bit more to uh, still be compatible in, in the detection range. And then just wanted to point out one more time, uh, universal compatibility. The only um, thing you need to tap into and uh, is power and ground. And then Zach, do you want to touch on just for a sec what, what an installation would look like for uh, people with this product? Yeah, absolutely. So a 1310, it's really, really simple, okay? So um, everything that you see in the kit is, it, this doesn't come with the bezel piece. It's just going to come with an 8.5 by 11 piece of plastic substrate, 8.5 uh, by 11 rubber mat, and then the coil, which just is a very simple double-sided application. Um, peel off the red double-sided tape, stick it on wherever you, you're looking for, and then uh, you just need to, exactly like Adam said, just grab power and ground. It's very, very simple. Um, we always recommend a brand motion using an ignition switch power source just so that for any reason um, you don't get any type of parasitic draw issues that can um, cause any issues with your vehicle. So generally as a rule of thumb, wherever you can fit your phone, you can fit the charger. So um, that's always a good test um, where, where you start out as, as far as I'm concerned. And then um, if you're ever running into any issues with the phone not linking. If it's in a case, try taking it out of a case. If not, see if you have another wireless uh, Qi enabled uh, charging device to test with to make sure it's not just a compatible compatibility issue with the device. Mm. Thanks, Zach. And then uh, one last thing I wanted to touch on before we move forward was, um, you know, typically we always recommend this product to go in a, a slot or tray area or the armrest like you see here on the right. However, you're not limited to those three areas. So those are just the three most common areas of application. Um, one of the coolest things about this product is that the installer really has the freedom to put this charging unit anywhere. You are going to have to rely on gravity for your phone to keep it in place because there's no magnets in it or anything like that. Um, so as long as you can set your phone somewhere and your phone can lay flat on it, this, this unit will operate. So I've got another quick video here. Um, this one is specific to the 1310 rather than the 1285. More smartphones are equipped with wireless charging than ever before, and more new vehicles have the feature too. But what about cars that don't? Is there a way to add the feature to a vehicle that doesn't have it built in and have it look good and work well too? Fortunately, Brandmotion, developers of seamless retrofit vehicle technology solutions, have developed Freedom Charge, a retrofit wireless charging solution for any vehicle with either a phone storage tray or an armrest large enough to set your phone on. It uses the same Qi standard wireless charging technology that all phones produced since 2016 on use, including all Apple iPhones launched since the iPhone 8. If your vehicle has an existing phone storage tray, then Freedom Charge can take that tray from this to this. If your vehicle doesn't have a phone storage tray, but it has an armrest big enough to set your phone on, there's a Freedom Charge solution for that too. Either solution means no more clumsy phone cords and no more potentially unsafe two-handed operations to plug and unplug your phone. That takes your hands off the steering wheel and your eyes off the road. Just easy, set, and forget charging. And because it's so easy to charge, you're much more likely to get to the end of the day with a charge left on your phone. Brandmotion's new Freedom Charge Max system supports fast charging phones and charges strongly through the thickest protective phone cases. 
Freedom Charge is the perfect partner to newer vehicles with wireless Apple CarPlay because you'll drain your battery quick if you're streaming music over 4G and using your Maps app for navigation. Before you buy, make sure your phone is equipped with wireless charging and as always, contact Brand Motion Dealer for purchase, installation, and support. As you heard Kevin talk about there, it is um, great to use when you're using uh, Apple CarPlay and streaming music. So really, this is a great complimentary product to any wireless head units. Um, if anybody's selling wireless head units to customers, this is a great complimentary product because it, they are a big drain on your phone um, to always be some, uh, emitting the, the signal for maps and music. Um, so it pairs well when it can just charge up while you're doing that um, in the vehicle. So a little bit on the installation times. Um, a pro install for the 1285 is going to be anywhere from a half hour to an hour. Um, a DIY install is going to be anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. And then the FAMC 1310 Pro install time, we're looking about an hour to an hour and a half. And a do-it-yourself install, looking about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, again, these times you see here are measured in minutes. So only two products to talk about today. Not a whole lot of information to cover. Um, these are about as simple as products get that we sell. However, I don't want to take away from the quality that they have. These are among our lowest in returns, uh, among the highest in customer satisfaction. They perform extremely well. Everyone within Brand Motion uses our own charging coils. They work great. Um, you know, people use them in RVs, their vehicles, um, golf carts. Even you know, there's a, a wide range of applications you can use these in. Not just your vehicle, and you're not limited to where you can put them. So, um, just wanted to wrap things up today, just by touching on um, something that I like to end every video with: just how to use the resources and tools available to you within Brand Motion. Um, so check out the vehicle configurator if you haven't used it before. Just go to brandmotion.com, click the search by vehicle button, follow through the prompts you see, select the category you're looking for. In this case, I'd recommend looking at wireless charging. It'll only give you one of two options, either a retrofit solution or adding in the new 1310. Secondly, we do also have the application guide. You can access it on the Brand Motion website or by reaching out to Zach or myself and we can share the link with you. The application guide is great if you need a quick answer on the fly while you're on the phone. And the uh, search by vehicle or, or brand motion vehicle configurator is great for if you don't know what part you need. So moving forward, the last thing I want to touch on is just the brand motion website. I would highly recommend if you're ever considering our products or you want to learn more about them, uh, search the part number on our website, look at the features, the compatibility, integration, um, the specs of the product. It's all there. You'll see marketing assets, you'll see um, the installation instructions you can download from there, and more. So I'd recommend checking out any of our parts, especially the two we've covered today on the Brand Motion website. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, here's Zach and myself's contact information. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or want to talk about anything that we've covered today. Um, thank you guys and hope you have a great day.